All right. What's up, Steven? Yeah, if you guys refresh, uh, you should be okay. I just had to like boot it up and it does this weird thing where uh, when I go from the PS3 menu to a PS1 game it like freezes, it's weird. But uh... Should be good now. All right. What's up, Steven? I don't know if you heard me. But, um... I want to say... Congrats on reaching... Your... 300 followers, man. That's awesome. That's all. That's a really good achievement. I don't think I'll ever do that because people don't, uh, people don't like what I stream, so. <laughs> we don't want to see this 19 year old game. But, uh, yeah, I could stream HD remaster. I mean, I already did it before. I could probably do it again. But I don't know. I guess it's just whatever people want to see. I usually don't stream, like, anything that... Like the majority of people play, and I don't know that could that could play into it, you know. But at the same time, it's like, what are you gonna do, you know? I'm running the Elgato HD60. Um, Honda that was that was directed towards you. Yeah, Outlast is a very popular game. I have beaten it and the DLC, Whistleblower, I think. I have it on PS4. Um, but yeah, so if you guys don't mind, maybe we can get started. At least I have, you know, three people here. It's, you know, it's good. <laughs> um, but... Yeah. This is the original copy. So there's no arranged mode or anything like that. So. Well, if you get a PS4, I'll definitely add you on that. So I am not with the Xbox One at the moment.
Okay. What do you guys think I should do? Chris or Jill? Uh, I am excited for Zero HD Remaster. That'd be pretty cool. It's not my favorite game, but it'd still be fun to play. So, if there's a physical in Japan, I'm going to get it. Who should I pick? Chris? Yeah, I beat the HD remaster like nine times on PS4. It's fucking crazy. Streaming was one of them. I streamed one of that. You need to hear a chill sandwich. What we got? Eli said Chris. The girl from Bride of Chucky? <laughs> I gotta see that. You ever wonder where these actors are now? And they didn't want their names on the game. <laughs> like their full name and it's just like, you asshole. Turned into a franchise. Like I says Biohazard on the thing. A banner for Goldmine? All right, guys, final decision, Chris or Jill? I mean, either way, it's kind of the same. Chris has... Oh, thank God I have people in here. It's amazing. I never get people in here. You should do Jill. Jill. We got two votes for Jill. Alright, Jill. Alright. Seems Jill gets this pick. Perfect. Sorry, Eli. Alpha team is flying around. But Chris is situated in Northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group. Oh, shit. I did an LP on this on the first game as Jill probably like four years ago. It's crazy to think it was that long. Bravo team's helicopter. No favorite line in this game. Actually, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. I probably because saying Jill's sandwich would be the obvious one. I'd have to go with. 
I have this. Because that is just classic Barry. Barry delivers the ultimate dialogue in this game. The Master of Unlocking is another good. There's so many good lines, man. <laughs> no, don't go is also a good one. <laughs> Jill, run for that house. Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Barry Burton. Rebecca Chambers. Albert Wesker. Resident Evil. Oh, dude, I had a crush on Jill when I was a kid as well. <laughs> yeah, it's like, still do, man. It's fucking badass. Wow. What a mansion. And Steven, as far as the Revelations 2 progress, I'm not very sure. I know me and Richard want to get back and do an original show first. Mr. Wesker, where's Chris? Just with me and him. Um... Possibly. Um, but we're not going to rule out the Revelations 2. Because um, that will be still the most relevant Resident Evil. Well, you know, the latest released Resident Evil game for a while. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it. But maybe me and Richard could do a original show first is the plan. I don't know when though, but everybody's been busy. But uh, I want to keep the show alive, you know what I mean? But uh, it's hard, because there's not a lot of Resident Evil news right now. So. <laughs> the dogs sound like dinosaurs. Yeah, they do. They do. Play this on the original 1996 copy. What? What is this? What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Damn right. Hope it's not Chris's blood. Don't open that sandwich. I remember seeing this when I was a kid. This is fucking great. I want to grab the magazines. I can make it. No, pick up the magazine, Jill. Thank you. <laughs> I just don't want to get munched on. Yes. 
Yes, success. Cool, cool, cool. Barry? What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Yeah, man, I mean, I, I hope, um... RPG, you can't hear anything? Can anybody else hear everything all right? All right, cool. RPG, I'm not sure. Um, try to refresh your stream. That's what I would do. But, uh, yeah, man. Um, I really hope that they put a lot into seven. Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Thanks, man. It's good to be back. And I'm staying back. Can't figure it out at all. Beats me too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Yeah, man. I've been following your tweets a lot, so we're paying attention to them. It's good to be back. It's good to stream. It's good to have an audience. Okay. And which I had a struggle with for a while, so. <laughs> you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time, I'll be there. do this. Let me just uh, plug in headphones here so I can hear myself through the mic. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Awesome. Best thing about Blue Yeti mics is that you can hear yourself if you plug in headphones, which is awesome. Uh, the new Terminator? Yeah, I love the new Terminator. It's great. It's not that bad. I mean, it's not the best thing ever, but it's not the worst, as people keep saying. So. Alright. Lose the lockpick on this door. 
Whoever plays Sarah was, I'm guessing you say fucking hot. Um, Twitch censors it out. Sarah was, whoever played Sarah was cute. No Linda Hamilton, but you know, it's good. Yeah, definitely go see it in a theater. It's really cool, you know, to hear it with surround sound and, you know, all that good stuff. It's great, you know. It's one of those cool experiences you'd like to see in a the theater. Uh, they recently redid, um, well, they did a re-release of the first Terminator in select theaters, and I went to see it, and it was just awesome to see on the big screen, even though it's, you know, 30 years old at this point. Oh, right, what am I doing? We gotta go in the room. We got to get the shotgun. I hope I don't die now because I just went in this door. Or you can get the broken shotgun and put it there, but then the game plays out a bit differently if you do it like that. <laughs> Nothing unusual. Got the shoddy. Because there's only a couple weapons in this game. But it's nice to be playing this game again because I always replay these games pretty often. Um, Resident Evil 3 Outfit Remix, great. I might stream, I, I'm thinking about streaming Remake again, it might be repetitive for some, but I really love that game a lot, and I haven't played it in a while, so it'd be kind of cool to stream it, um, so I don't know what you guys think about that, but. Hey, what's going on? Jill? Is that you, Jill? What happened? Perry? Help me, please. The door won't open. I have not seen the gallows now, but I've heard bad things about it. <laughs> so hey, what do you think about it? If you saw it, RPG, let me know. Um, you know, I know it's found footage, and you know how I feel about that. But you know, I don't know. Oh, Barry! That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right, Barry. Thanks for saving my life. But Barry, didn't you see your You beat the remake four times a day? Holy shit. <laughs> Every day? <laughs> I could do that, but I don't even have the time for that. I wish. Back in the day. Thank you, Barry. I've heard Insidious 2 was good. My friend saw it. I know the Blu-ray leaked online, so I could just download it or something. Yeah, man, seeing classic cinema in, like, modern theaters is really cool. Um, I just wish they put, like, old trailers in the beginning of it. That'd be fucking awesome. But they don't do that. Alright, gotta get the herb. And, uh, let's see. Um, but I was thinking about doing another stream of, uh... Of Resident Evil Remake, uh, and I'm not sure if anybody would actually want to be down to see that, I guess, but I mean, it definitely would be fun, that's for sure. Because I did it before, like, I did it around the time I got my Elgato and stuff, so I don't know if people would actually want to see it, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, definitely. You have to unwind, man. You gotta, you gotta do it. You got to do it. You gotta have that free time. That's why I'm doing this right now. <laughs> because of that reason alone. So, you know, it's kind of important. Insidious is pretty good. I'm sure Insidious is awesome. 
first two were I know I saw the first one. I think I saw some of the second one. But to making a five nights of Freddy's movie? Like what? Oh Jesus Christ. Alright. Let's continue. I mean, I could take out these zombies, but I don't know. I might. Yeah, man. Sinister 2. A lot of people have a lot of doubts about that. I'm kind of disappointed it's not coming out around Halloween, to be honest. That would be awesome, but I don't know why they're pushing for an August date. But, I mean, whatever. Sinister is great. I don't understand people why I don't like it. I thought it was the most original horror film that's come out in the past couple years. But people were like, no. I'm not getting munched on. Fuck that. It's better to clear these assholes up right now. Oh. Alright. Uh, it is rated R. Which is good. Let me make sure these guys are dead. They're dead. Are they dead? I think they are. I can't tell the blood. It's too dark. Alright, cool. We are good. <laughs> ah, you got me, you bitch. Fuck off me. Uh, carving of an armor key. He's gonna give up, isn't he? I oh, know he's dead. Okay. Yeah, that fucking lawnmower scene. Oh my god. Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No. I didn't even know what I was looking at when I saw that scene. I was like, "What the fuck? Oh, it's a lawnmower." And then ah, it just goes over the fan. I was like, "Ugh." Maybe it's been I saw it in theaters too. I remember, it was like that's why I kind of want this one to come out on Halloween because it was like a good Halloween movie, you know? Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Let's separate again. Just a moment. Are you talking about the Evil Dead TV series trailer? Yes. Looks amazing. With the practical effect. Oh my god. It looks awesome. I am so watching that. Like, there is no way I'm missing that at all. Especially if you're a fan of Evil Dead. Thank you. I have this. Well, if you guys are interested, I'm actually going to do a review on the whole Resident Evil movie series. Um like actually do a review like using clips going through the film like step by step like literally I'm I'm planning on doing that so but uh uh yeah so if you guys are interested in seeing that <laughs> there will be a Resident Evil movie review a thon i don't know when i'm going to start them i might start them like late summer into fall that's the plan um but that's the thing and steven you just brought up a good point the re movies are terrible but they're funny and that's why i think it'd be great to do a review on them you know for that reason alone you know like actually write scripts and like go through it step by step do research and get everything um you know so
Alright, something tells me I should uh, at least try to take this guy out. Knock the statue off at least. I shot his arm off. Ugh. Awesome. And dip out of here. Sweet. Yeah, the girl who plays Jill is really hot. I don't know if she's a good Jill, but she's definitely hot, that's for sure. These guys just spit acid. Do they spit acid? I'm not sure. These zombies. It must. If they spit acid, I can run past them. Yeah. Awesome. Works for me. We got to hold on to the chemical. We got the clip here. I don't know why I didn't combine them last time. It's strange. I don't know why I didn't do that. Okay, combine. Yes, combine. Yes. Ink ribbon. Oh, uh... By the way, I just started watching Better Call Saul. <laughs> if any of you guys are Breaking Bad fans or anything like that. I'm a big Breaking Bad fan. I just got around to watching Better Call Saul. It's great. I'm liking it so far. Loving it, actually, is the, is the right term to say, actually. Let's see. I'm going to put that away. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Better Call Saul. People are going to be watching this on YouTube and they're going to be like, shit, man. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. It's like, hey, guys, you should come to the stream. Because then you'll know what we're talking about in the chat. That's locked. Armor key is required. The room? No. Not seen anything called the room. Just make sure there's not a zombie there. Well, who who said that? Yeah, see, the original music is in this version and the first director's cut. The one that's on the PSN is the the Dual Shock director's cut, and that's the version that decided to tamper with the music. So, definitely, if you're a Resident Evil fan, just invest in getting either this version or the, uh, you know, get, get the original or the, the, the black label director's cut. Um, yeah, that's a good question. Do you guys know why they tampered with the music? Like, they decided to actually like mess with the music the citizen kane of bad movies i'm going to have to look into it but do any guys know the the reasoning behind why they ever switched the music For all the, I don't, I don't even know why they thought it was a good idea because the music is already fine. But you know, no, I've never seen the room. But now I got you guys saying I should see it. So look, look, looks looks like I'm doing something tonight. Yes. I'll just grab all the herbs now. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it keeps you up at night knowing they did. Yeah, he's just like, why can't I break two legs? Better call Saul. Is it because you want you want to act like you're fair? I'm only on episode four or three. He just found the family. That makes sense. I don't want to spoil anything. Cool deal. And we got all the herbs, and now we get the key. Oh, that's awesome. How'd you meet him? Was it like a convention? Like a horror convention? I'm going to Monster Mania again. Well, for one day. My friend, she's like actually part a part of Monster Mania in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Like she's she knows people that I think it's like her family member that works there and she's working the event. I'm like, I fucking hate you. Because she gets all her shit signed for free. I'm like, I fucking hate you. Sweet. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. I like I like that. When they do screenings and they come out and they're meeting people, that's awesome. It just kind of shows like the dedication and the uh, respect for the fans that kind of you know made it popular in the first place. That's really cool though. Yay! People said I should actually play the director's cut, like, arranged mode. And I've only done it a couple times. But, it's like, do it really, should I really do that? I mean, I don't even know. Just a, just a thought. I know what I want. Combine, put that in there. Okay. Why isn't there any fat zombies in the remake? I don't know. <laughs> but that's a very good question. Let's see something real quick. Oh, when you get the... Oh, yeah! There is one. That's one. It's like the one in Resident Evil 3. The one that's like... Um, I think he's in the office. <laughs> that stupid shit. Key. I just need to go to a safe room, that's for sure. So, I should probably... Yeah, I'd probably use it to go upstairs. There's not enough fat zombies. We need more fat zombies in these games, man. Capcom didn't have it in her budget. It's too many pixels. Can't do it. Oh, this motherfucker moved. It's all about the headshots. I need to, like, put shit away before I do any of this shit. I love Resident Evil 3. I did a stream on Resident Evil 3, like, two years ago. Or a year ago. Almost two years ago. A year ago. And I want to stream it again, man. I mean, I don't even know. I should just, like, like... I don't know. I, I want to do a lot. 
I have 1.5 actually on this console. I actually have Resident Evil 1.5 on this PS3 console that I have. It's a hacked console, but it has the 1.5 ROM on it. It's only like like a little it's like a little bit of the game. Do you guys want to see that later? <laughs> I have 1.5. Okay. Maybe I should use one herb. <laughs> Fat zombie stream. <laughs> Okay. They released another patch? I'm gonna have to grab it. I'm gonna have to grab it, because it's easy... Guys, it's really easy to play these things, honestly. Like, the, the... the patches. The way they release them... Um... <laughs> the Fat Zombie Stream. Let's make it happen. Fat Zombie Stream 2015! Um... But yeah, like, the way they release the patches, they're so easy to burn to a disc and play on a PlayStation 1. Well, that's hacked anyway, but the console that I'm on now can just have ISO, so, you know, let me know if you guys want to check out some, uh... Because the... I need another patch, because, uh... That'd be kind of interesting. Alright. So we saved just for now, just in case. And we're good. Alan Wake, no. I've, uh, Richard has played Alan Wake and I have not. And I think he said it was pretty good. There's probably a couple games on last gen that I didn't really play that much. Or I should have played and I just didn't play, you know. Oh, dude, I beat Alien Isolation on PC. It's a great game. I pirated it back when it came out, and I beat the beat the hell out of it. Hard game. I mean, I don't, I couldn't tell you the last time I rage quit a fucking game, and that was one of them. Like the Working Joes, man, they piss me off to no end. There's so many hard parts with them. Oh God. Um, well, any other Silent Hill fan would tell you to skip the other Silent Hills, but, uh, those Silent Hills, but Homecoming wasn't too bad. Just for the record. Researcher's will. And now we gotta drain this tank here. Alright, time to do the hunt for the crests. Oh yes. Explosive rounds, yeah! And now we gotta get these crests now that are in the rooms that we passed because, yeah, I, need to put, I still need to probably put shit back in the fucking thing. You died 193 times, are you, oh my god, dude.
I've literally just like not even like oh god. I mean, I could play it again. I was thinking about getting it on PS4, but <laughs> I would just have to like stream it or something. There's no way I'd do that by myself without an audience watching me, because it's like, what's the point? Because I'm just gonna get pissed if I have an audience there like supporting me and they're like, it's okay, Aunt, you got this. It's like, okay, I'm motivated, but by myself, I'm just like, fuck, like this shit is so hard. But I respect it because it's old school survival horror. You know, it's old school. You, you can't, you go back right where you came from. You can't save, you know, it's fu It's brutal. That's what I like about it, man. It's brutal. There's nothing like that game. That and Evil Within, man. They came out around the same month. Uh, we got some good treatment. Good survival horror treatment, that's for sure. That is for sure. I might as well go in here. Wow. Noise detection? Are you kidding me? You're insane, dude. Oh, the film I'm working on? Thank you. I'm gonna start filming in August. That's the plan. I gotta finish casting. This month. I do too many projects at once, I'm telling you. F 500 and fit. Oh my god, dude. You're insane. I'm hoping it could push close to an hour. Hoping. Last one came in around like 40 something minutes, so. This one's a little bit longer. Ugh. Yeah, man, I'm happy we got some good scary games this past fall. This fall we got fucking nothing. We got Fallout, <laughs> but that's not scary. We got good games coming out, but they're not uh, they're not scary games. There we go, crest number one. And now we gotta get the other ones. Oh yeah, until dawn, you're right. I almost forgot about it. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm getting that right away. <laughs> and I have a PS4. I guess we're just going to see if it's good. Heavy Rain Volume 2. You burned that game, motherfucker. Alright, we gotta go in these double doors now. Ugh. thousand different endings and that's cool it's just it comes out around the time Metal Gear comes out and if I had to pick between that like until dawn something I could probably get at Christmas unless it's like that good because I gotta get Metal Gear you have to get Metal Gear if you're a Metal Gear fan you have to get it
Konami canceled PT. And they also took Hideo Kojima's name off Metal Gear Solid. Which is fucking stupid, but... What are you gonna do? Um... I think the doors should actually get up. Richard, what happened? Oh, chill. This house is dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! You're wounded. What kind of demon attacked you? It was a huge snake. And also poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Serum? Oh no. I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. Alright, we gotta get a serum now. Sounds good to me. Even though I know Richard's fucked anyway. Clock sticking. Yeah, and, like, Kojima is pff, amazing. And you're just gonna, you know, act like he doesn't exist. Like, you asshole. You asshole. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get Metal Gear Day 1. That's the last thing I buy from Konami. Not that I was a big Konami buyer anyway, but... If you catch my drift. I still need to go to the piano room. I missed it because I didn't have a, enough space to carry my shit. Now we gotta get this to Richard, yay! Keep it. 
careful. Rip Richard. Rip. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Did you guys see the uh, Resident Evil Zero gameplay they released of the original? Like, the, we've never seen that much gameplay of the original. It was crazy on, like, how it was. Very reminiscent of Resident Evil 1 and 2. With the sounds and the voice acting. And it was awesome. You know they have a copy somewhere. You know they have a copy. Just like how Capcom has a copy of 1.5. They're just not going to release it. Because they're dicks. But... Yeah, the N64 one. Yeah, what's up? Pretty boy Joe, what's going on? Glad he could join. Yeah, the N64 one, man. That, that was awesome. It, like, looked great. Like, it just looked like a classic Resident Evil game. Like, we would have had another, like... I don't know. I like I like Zero on GameCube, but I feel like it would have been really cool if it was just on N64. <laughs> Maybe that sounds fucked up, but it wouldn't have that. The only thing that I have a problem with with Resident Evil Zero is the swapping. I just dropping items on the floor. Like I don't know. I've only beaten it a couple times. Like I didn't beat it insane amounts. Like you know, Resident Evil Zero. I mean remake. My bad. But. It's like shit, man. I'm not one of those people that think, you know, the remaster is a bad idea. I think it's good, you know. They're making money and they need money, so. Bring on that RE7! My plan's to do a, a LP on RE6 as well. Yeah, like, a lot of people could say, like, oh, she looked like Joe, but, like, I don't know, I like that. That's what you like about Classic Resident Evil. It's, like, simple. Like, it's very reminiscent of RE1, you know? And the voice acting was still kind of funny. Like, it's just good. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but... It was great. It looked awesome. Very nostalgic. Oh, yeah, Steven, you, uh, what do you have RE6 on, man? Like, what console? Damn, man, if only I just don't pay for gold anymore. I so would team up. Because I was planning on doing it on PC, but I know you don't have, like, a gaming PC. Unless, at least I don't think you do. Because PC looks amazing, and, like, I don't... Like, I have it for PS3, but my PS3 doesn't go online because it's hacked. And then I have my 360 version, which I used to go online all the time, but I don't pay for gold anymore.
If you do have a PC though, you gotta get RE6 on PC. It drops pretty cheap. I got it for like 10 bucks, I think. I got some like European guy who sold it on eBay and it was like a worldwide code and it's like 10 bucks. I redeemed it and it worked. He gifted it to me. Well, a good gaming PC, for me, ran me about, like, maybe seven, eight hundred dollars but I built mine, and it was great, because when you build yours, you save a lot of money on the processor, um, and the graphics card, and all that stuff, so, I have a 660, but it's two years old, obviously, so I'm gonna try to upgrade eventually, but, not right now, I'm not, like, in a rush, but, um, you know, ran Revelations 2, great, uh, but... I'd say you're better off building it on your own, but if you can't, you can always build one on websites, but be aware of that, because pretty much websites can rip you off, and if you try to buy PCs that are manufactured, you waste a lot of money, rather than building it yourself. Now, I built it with, you know, Perry, as you guys know, uh, Pooh Perry is, so, uh, you know, me and him, uh, we, you know, we got shit done, uh, but he definitely led the way. Um, and that's how I ended up saving a lot of money and, um, sit now saving a lot of money for the stuff you want. Anybody can really do that. You just got to be smart on what you're looking for. Uh, so it's a really good thing to invest in because building it on your own, you save a lot of money, bare bones and stuff. Um, it's really fun. It's great. And I still use the PC and I can always re, you know, modify it and put more new stuff in. I don't got to go out and get another PC. If you build it yourself... You're not, you know, you're not wasting money. Because in the long run, you know, you have you have a bunch of stuff you could, you know, take apart and, you know, sell and get new items. So it's really cool. Yeah, not 1200 You can assemble it for like, you know, six, seven hundred dollars, like I said. That's that was probably around mine, like six, seven hundred. I have an I7 3070K, I think. But back when I got it, it was relevant. The thing is a PC goes, you know, a long way. It's always evolving. And uh, there's always new stuff out, so everything's going to be obsolete. But the thing is, is some things can be a kind of obsolete, but your PC could still run good. That doesn't make it bad, which a lot of people mistaken. Um, that's the whole point, is you get, good, you get good parts and you set yourself up for a couple years and then you're good. Um, and I, mine is still great for editing and it's, and it's good for streaming like I'm doing now. And it's good for, you know, all that stuff, so... Right, time to get this crest to get the fuck out of here. Oh, see ya, Steven. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one, man. I'll be streaming again soon.
It has an ink ribbon there, but eh. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, he's really weird. That's why you just gotta like wait for him to maneuver a certain way when he's stuck on like the little pillar. And then he usually takes a little while to get himself situated, but he can be a bitch. I mean, when you're stuck front like by him, like it is the worst. Okay, um so one more room I gotta check out and then let's see. Alright, so we're doing good on ammo and stuff. Avoiding a lot of shooting. Well, I tried to anyway. I shot some zombies, some that would get in the way, but, you know. the crests so there's one more room I want to check it's the one by the uh, double blue doors <sighs> and the lighter we don't need right now and this we don't need let's organize some shit real quick Alright. Let's see. Should be able to make it okay. Alrighty, let's just check out that last room and we'll be good. God, I love this game. It just never gets old for me. Yeah, man. A lot of people like the original music. Nothing like it. Got a clip. I think there's shoddy shells somewhere in here as well. That's why I just wanted to come in here. And you can easily avoid this room and never worry about it, but... Yes. All right. Ink ribbon, yes. We need a little more anyway. That is the closet key door back there. All 
All right. Get the fuck out of here. Ugh. All right, all right, awesome. <sighs> Sounds good to me. All right. Let's take a shortcut through the dog. Am I the only one that doesn't mind using D-pads? Oh god damn it. I still use D-pads. Even on DualShock versions, I just use D-pad, I don't know. I can always come back and get those herbs outside later. Oh my god, he came fast. Fuck you. Oh, I didn't grab the crest. Doi. My dumbass. That's alright, we're right here anyway. I don't know man, I've always loved using the D-pad. It's just... I don't know. I've just been doing it since I was a kid and I just always use it. I even use it in DOA. Dead or Alive. Fighting game. I just use it. Mortal Kombat, I use it. It's weird. I'm weird like that. It's just really a comfortable thing, but... <laughs> okay. Now it's time. Oh, sweet. To go. Even on the PS3, there's an option on some of these games that have um, DualShock support. If you want to use it, this game obviously doesn't have it. But if you uh, you can change it if, through the middle button, and uh, not a lot of people know that. But I never change it. I just don't. <laughs> Probably once I get to the guardhouse, I'm probably gonna save and hop off Twitch for a little, little while, and then I'll let everybody know when my next session is gonna be. And we could probably break it down in a couple sessions, like a you know, per parts of the games. But how's the sound, everybody? Once we get to the little house, we'll save. Give me a follow if you guys haven't. So you know, you can keep updated when I stream and stuff like that. Um, this will be uploaded on YouTube, so if you missed any bit, it will be uploaded in its entirety. Um, so there you go. That's a lot of herbs. So grab some.
uh, back later. I don't know. Um, just because I, got, I have to like work on some movie stuff. I have to arrange a bunch of shit and uh, get some props in order. I gotta do a lot of shit, unfortunately. But um, when maybe sometime, yeah, sometime soon. Yeah, I'm not gonna like leave you guys hanging that long. Um, you know, possibly over the weekend, maybe. Um, maybe Sunday or something. Maybe, maybe Friday. Maybe tomorrow. I don't even know. I guess it just depends on what people are doing. Um, but, uh, keep in mind, I'll just, you know, I'll put up a video on my YouTube channel. I'll, you know, uh, I'll do all that stuff so you guys will be knowing when I'm, when I'm coming back around. Follow me on Twitter. It's just, uh, Anthony Luzzi, L-U-Z-Z-I. Or you can go to my YouTube and just follow me from there. It's just, it's a lot easier... So you guys can know, like, what's going on. And before I die by all these dogs. Alright, let's not die. Fucking dogs. Yeah, but uh, I'm also working on, um... Getting footage for the Siphon Filter 2 and 3 reviews. Um, I don't know if you guys, any of you guys in the chat have seen that. Um, the first review of Siphon Filter, but I'm reviewing the whole trilogy as part of like a let's have a flashback type thing. And I'm currently trying to get them done. Because I've been meaning to get them done for a while now, so. And they need to get done. They're long overdue. Yeah, so if you've seen the first one, then, you know, I'm going to make two and three, and um, I'm going to do this in the pro in the, in the the meantime, and, um, like, stream this game, and then stream more, and then stream more, and do whatever on YouTube. I don't think I'll start an LP until the fall, to be honest with you guys. I'll probably be RE6, if anything. Um, so... So, but then, you know, it's going to be great. You know, it's, I have a lot of stuff planned out, um, like to do while I'm doing the film. Cause it's not like when I'm doing the film, I'm filming every single day. I mean, we got to split it up due to like people's schedules and stuff like that with work and whatnot. So everybody's included in that. So it's like, I'm going to have downtime to do, you know, streams or, you know, do any content that's relating to this channel. So, you know, it's not. It's not like I uh, I really have to space stuff out, you know. I mean, it's it's really I like keeping busy, so I like just doing a like throwing myself into a bunch of projects at once and just doing them because I want to do them. So, you know, the hard time with me on Twitch was just getting an audience because it was really hard. So thankfully today it was a success. So if you guys want to, you know, like I said, come back for more. I will let everybody know when that happens, and if you follow me, you'll get notified when I go live. So that will work out for everybody. But let's push the statue in front of the plant first, and we'll fucking do that. Plant 42. But thankfully, because I did try to stream this actually a couple times, and I had technical difficulties, and... A lot of problems that were, were like pissing me off to no end. So I was like, all right, I'm done. I'm just going to wait till I get this, you know, started. Um, so. There we go. Awesome. All right. We are doing good on everything. I can't even pick that up. Plan 42 is annoying. Oh my god. Even more annoying in the remake. Because <clears throat> I had to beat the game with a knife. And that was... Oh my god. That was so hard. I don't... I still don't... I couldn't even tell you how I did that. I couldn't even tell you. That was awful. I don't even know what the zero ones look like, the zero trophies, but I'll try to go for them. But 
I played the shit out of Remake. Uh, once I uh, finish this game, I could probably stream Remake again, because Remake's really fun. I could probably put some stipulations to kind of make it spice it up a bit, you know? Do you guys feel cool with that? All right, we are good on all this stuff, so all we need is the ink ribbon. And we will be good to go. Awesome. Uh, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. It was really fun. Um, you guys really keep me going, because without any of you guys here, I would not be even streaming at all. So, <laughs> thanks again. Um, I'm going to upload this on my YouTube, so um, if any of you guys missed it out there, or had some uh, Twitch issues, you can watch it there. Uh, I'll probably be uploading that later. So, thank you guys. Uh, I'll probably be back... I'll, I'd, I'll probably be back tomorrow, maybe around the same time, noonish time, 2 o'clock something. I don't know, maybe... Uh, if not, I'll let you guys know, but yeah, I'm definitely going to come back and we'll make progression. The game isn't that long, so uh, stay tuned. Uh, just follow me so you know when I'm streaming. Uh, look out on YouTube because I'll probably put up an up like a, like a heads up video um, so you guys won't miss it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya. Thanks again.